As a rule, the examination of a vending copy begins with the body. We are still met by clothes. And if focus has not inspired you with its appearance, do not rush to refuse. Burned out paint, sandblasted sills at the bottom and darkened decor details on high mileage cars are more likely signs of natural aging than barbaric exploitation. Particular attention is paid to the chrome lining on the trunk lid. Corrosion in the place of its contact with the body appears after two or three Russian winters. It costs about 5,000 rubles. At the same time, check the license plate light, its wiring quickly corrodes. And to a greater extent, hatchbacks and sedans suffer from this. Repair, 1500 rub. The focus from the first generation has retained its signature sore, a sour lock for opening the hood. Pay attention to the chrome lining on the trunk lid. Corrosion in the place of its contact with the body appears after two or three Russian winters. In winter, due to moisture, the touch buttons of the trunk lock often freeze. In addition, the Focus has retained its signature sore since the first generation, a sour lock for opening the hood. In order for it to open easily, it is necessary to lubricate the inner surface of the emblem covering the lock cylinder. Better yet, change the regular plastic lock, 3,000 rubles, for a metal one from Mondeo. Often the central lock fails, because of which not only the doors are blocked, but also the gas tank hatch. Therefore, an attempt to refuel with the failed central lock may be unsuccessful. So long. The interior of the focuses is assembled neatly and conscientiously. Even with age, squeaks and crickets, he does not annoy. And the fabric upholstery lends itself well to dry cleaning and is wear resistant. True, it happens that salon equipment and electric smoke. There were complaints about the failure of seat heating. Moreover, for the original heater, you will have to pay about 10,000 rubles. There are known cases of climate control whims due to the failure of the cabin temperature sensor, 2,500 rubles. Therefore, checking the performance of the air conditioner before buying a used Focus is desirable. Also drive the stove in various fan modes. The whistling of the motor will indicate its imminent death. The new electric motor will empty the pocket for 7,500 rubles. True, often a burned-out resistor, 900 rubles, can also become the culprit for the sudden death of a fan. Often the dip beam and dimensions bulbs burn out, to replace which you have to remove the headlight. And in winter, you need to be ready to replace the failed elements of the side mirrors. The new amalgam is estimated at 2,000 rubles. Engine. The mechanics praise the base 1.4-liter engine. It has practically no congenital sores. The main thing is not to forget on time, every 80,000 kilometers, to update the timing belt, timing. True, due to its modest volume and power, it is usually turned to its fullest and it works for wear and tear, falling into second hands already at the limit of its resource. The 1.8-liter engine is outwardly indistinguishable from the 2.0-liter. But electronic control units differ significantly in the programs of those that work with 1.8 there are clearly more errors. The 1.6-liter engine, 100 horsepower, which was installed on the first Focus, rightfully bears the title of the most massive and reliable. It accounts for more than a third of all Focuses on the market today. The motor of the South African assembly is intended for operation in the countries of the third world. Its simple design determines excellent maintainability and low cost of operation. But this unit is also considered by many to be rather weak for a modern car especially when paired with an automatic. Whether it's his 115 horsepower counterpart, equipped with a variable valve timing system on the intake and exhaust shafts. The engine thrust is already quite enough in all modes, and it gets along much better with the automatic, and in terms of economy it is not inferior to the 100 horsepower version. Only now, this modern motor quickly ends the phase shifter clutch, 11,500 rubles. True, on modernized machines, the unit has become more durable. Modifications with force with a volume of 1.8 and 2.0 liters are second only to versions with a 1.6 liter engine, 100 horsepower. Both engines are identical in design and suffer from common ailments. The resource of motors is 350,000 kilometers. And in the timing drive, a durable chain, which is usually replaced after 200,000 kilometers. But in order for the motors to live safely to old age, after the first hundred, you should pay attention to the valve cover gasket, 1,000 rubles, which begins to poison the oil. However, at first, you can limit yourself to tightening the bolts that are weakening due to vibrations, and then just a replacement. By this time, as a rule, the 
upper hydraulic support of the engine wears out, 3,500 rubles. The unreasonable blues of the 1.8-liter engine, on the 2.0-liter it appears less often, poor traction and cold start, torn idle and increased fuel consumption, was associated with unfinished software of the electronic engine control unit. Therefore, dealers changed its firmware depending on the malfunction, although these measures were extremely reluctant. Ignition coils and high-voltage wires, gasoline pumps are also short-lived. The throttle body and the exhaust gas recirculation valve become dirty rather quickly. Converters, 34,000 rubles, do not differ in mileage, the life expectancy of which depends on the oil consumption of the engine. If the appetite of the motor increases to 200 grams per 1,000 kilometers, you need to sound the alarm and contact the service. Otherwise, costly repairs are guaranteed. It is advisable to change the oil in a 1.8-liter turbo diesel after 5 to 10,000 kilometers and refuel only at trusted network gas stations. And then the high-pressure fuel pump, TNBD, will overcome the bar of 200,000 kilometers repair from 30,000 rubles. You will have to spend money on new injection nozzles, 12,500 rubles each, plus the exhaust gas recirculation valve. After 100,000 kilometers, the dual-mass flywheel wears out. A similar problem, by the way, also occurs on a 2.0-liter gasoline engine. If you feel jerks when starting off and a characteristic rattling, change immediately. The part is expensive, from 25,000 rubles, but the consequences of the destruction caused by the flywheel will be even more noticeable. Transmission. On an IB5 manual gearbox, after 50 to 80,000 kilometers, departures of the second gear are known due to weak synchronizers. And when working with an increased load, the axis of the satellites and the differential may burst which threatens a hole in the crankcase and repairs for 100,000 rubles. If, when making a test drive, the box howls like a beast, then the input shaft bearing is worn out, and it urgently needs to be changed. Otherwise, the consequences can be devastating. But the, the mechanics of the MTX-75 are more durable. True, over time, oil seals and seals of the gearshift rod leak in it, and due to the low level of gear oil, the shafts and gear rims of the gears wear out quickly. The clutch can last 100,000 kilometers or more, if it were not for the weak release bearing, made in a single block with the clutch slave cylinder, which wears out after 50,000 kilometers. But the automatic is as simple as 5 cents and reliable as a tank. The 4F2070 box was installed on various Ford models back in the late 1980s, so today it is almost completely devoid of childhood diseases. After 150,000 kilometers, it will only be necessary to repair the valve body, 22,000 rubles, and replace the pressure regulator solenoids. Suspension. With driving properties, the Focus 2 is in perfect order thanks to the jewelry tuned independent suspension. Its main elements are centenarians. The idle is broken by the support bearings of the struts, nursing an average of 40 to 70,000 kilometers. Approximately the same amount was released for wheel bearings, which are changed as an assembly with the hubs. When replacing, do not forget about the ABS sensors, they are often damaged during dismantling. With light knocks in the suspension after 40,000 kilometers, the stabilizer struts will make themselves felt. But the bushings would stand almost twice as long. Simultaneously with them, at 80 to 110,000 kilometers, the turn of updating ball bearings complete with the lever and silent blocks will come. And then shock absorbers are on the way, 4,200 rubles each. In the rear suspension, Stabilizer struts are updated every 60 to 80,000 kilometers. Bushings last an average of one and a half times longer. By the hundred, the lower levers wear out. Shock absorbers, 3,800 rubles each, are destined for a slightly longer period. They often reach 110 to 140,000 kilometers. In steering, rod ends are enough for 50 to 80,000 kilometers. And the rail itself on the first machines even changed under warranty but by 2008 it had become more durable. Moreover, versions with 1.4 and 1.6 liter engines were equipped with a traditional hydraulic booster, and more powerful modifications came with an electro-hydraulic power steering, in which the pump control board could burn out. Usually you have to change the entire assembly for 28,000 rubles. In the rear multi-link, follow the silent blocks of the trailing arms, circled, they can be borrowed from the twin Mazda 3. Stabilizer struts, indicated by an arrow, can be of two types, with ball joints and without them, on bushings. The latter last longer, 
but keep in mind that the racks are not interchangeable. Total. Finding a technically sound Ford Focus 2 will not be difficult. If you are not satisfied with modifications with reliable engines of 1.4 and 1.6 liters, 100 horsepower, you can find a Focus from Europe with an equally reliable 2.0 liter turbo diesel. True, we have few such versions. And it's better to opt for post-styling cars, they have already had childhood illnesses.